Hi everybody. Today I'm going to do uh, something for Halloween since it's coming up. Um, and actually it can be used for Halloween, it can be used for fall decor. Um, this is something I've seen quite a bit on Etsy, I've seen it on Pinterest, and I've made a few and I've actually sold quite a few of these at craft shows. So if you're interested in something that could make you some money on the side, or if you just want it for a gift, uh, this will be a, a pretty easy, simple project uh, for you to do. It doesn't take a whole lot of materials. Um, you need a two by four. Uh, you can either buy a new one. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive. I happen to have a, a, a two by four just laying around. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this with, uh, with this so you can see you don't need too many tools. You can use a regular saw for this. If you have a, a jigsaw, you can use that. Uh, to also cut what needs to be cut. Uh, we need to do a 45. If you do not have, if you do not have one of these or any other device that can give you 45 degrees, just use a piece of paper and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so let's get started. I'll go ahead and I'll show you how I draw out all the, all the pieces we need and we'll go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is luckily for me on this one, this is still the factory cut end over here. So I'm going to start there. Um, because I want a nice square end on it. And the first thing I'm going to do is measure up. And I'm going to give myself five inches. I'm going to make a mark at five. And then it doesn't have to be exact. This doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, but, so I'm going to go from five. And then we're going to do a seven. And then we're going to do a nine. And let me just take a look at those and see, and those may be, no, I think those will be all right. I'm liking those. I'm not sure I like the nine. So I'm going to go five, seven, and I'll do an eight. How about that? I'm not sure if you can see, yep, you can see my eight here. All right. So what I'll do now is with the square, if you've got one, you can mark it off here. So that you can see where you are. Why do I not have lead? I think I'll try something with lead on it. So I'm going to mark that off. Now, as I said, if you don't happen to have a square, um, this is just a strip of paper I have. I know that this is the end that I cut off, so it's not going to be straight. But this is square. This paper is square, so I can take it. If you don't have a square, just line up one of your edges along here, and then just draw along the sheet of paper there. It'll give you a nice square edge, and you can do it this way, just like so. Or if you don't even have any, you know, you don't even have to have any kind of tools. Pencil, paper, two by four. We're good. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. With this, this is a, a, a Japanese saw. Uh, you don't need one of these. You can have a regular saw that you've got, or like I said, you can use a jigsaw. And we'll go ahead and cut this. Now, I'm not sure that you really care to have to watch me cut. Um, if you'd like, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll get this guy started here. Uh, just so we can see, let me move this up a little bit. So that we can see what's happening. And I'll go ahead and I'll take this and I'll line it up, pull back a little bit, and give myself a start, and then just cut. I suppose I could get one of my um, clamps and clamp this thing down. It would be better, but I'm impatient. I don't want to go over and get it. Okay, so there we have three pieces that are cut. There's our different sizes. And again, size, this, this is entirely up to you what size you make them. This is, like I said, five, seven, and eight and a half inches. Doesn't feel like that though. Why does it look off? That's exactly eight, I'm sorry. So five, seven, and eight inches. And that's perfectly fine with me. Now, again, if you don't have yourself a square, Okay, so next what we need to do is, what we're making here are um, our cats. They're black cats that we're making. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to make their ears. So I'm going to need a, a piece that comes in like this, like a V. And again, if I've, I've got my um, square, so I can easily take the square and I can draw this line from the corner. And then I can come over here and draw this line from the corner. And that's going to give me a nice, nice set of ears on him. Pretty easy to do. But what happens if you don't have one of these? You don't have a square. Well, the first thing you want to do is we can do this again with a piece of just white paper, uh, a laser printer paper, typing paper, what have you. Now, what we want to do, though, is we want to find center of these. Now, if you're like me, I don't like trying to figure out fractions. So this is three and a half inches wide. I don't like doing fractions. So what I'm going to do instead is a little trick is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on. I'm going to make sure I'm right at one or at zero right there on that corner. And set this up so that this hits four. I know that half of four is two. So I'm going to make a mark right at the two. That is now dead center on this piece of wood. And if you want to check that, come in. That is one and three quarters. And that is also one and three quarters. So it's pretty simple. Everyone, if you don't know it, now you do. Uh, now what I want to do is... I want to make sure that I have this center line I'm going to draw a little bit of a, a, a distance here so that it comes down all right and then I'm going to take this piece I'm going to put this point on the center and get it so that I have these and it doesn't matter where they are on here as long as this is centered this is going to give me even set of ears on this. The hardest part is to draw with the piece of paper, but it can be done, especially if you don't have all the tools. And there you go. There's a set of ears for you. It's perfect. So now again, we're going to go ahead and cut the ears out. And, and we're just going to go ahead and use this uh, Japanese saw. And again, you can use a... Um, jigsaw you can use I don't know that I would use a table saw you can use a bandsaw all sorts of options here I am going to go get a clamp and clamp this down and I'll get this done and be right I'm hoping uh, I recorded the part where I said all I'm going to do next is sand um, I apologize if it wasn't going um, all I did is just roughed up or cleaned up all of the edges on here so there's nothing sharp no splinters sticking out you just rub your fingers along them make sure you don't feel anything coming out that's going to hurt somebody um, like i just did there and you just want to get all the little edges cleaned up there we go that's much better all right so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and paint these all black we're just going to do a solid coat of paint uh solid coat of black on here i just use these uh, uh, craft paints, uh, you can do the same. Uh, if you've got black latex, go ahead and use that. Got myself a little closer here. I'm gonna go ahead and do these uh, one at a time on here. And um, again, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna record the entire thing of me painting. Uh, seems a little bit odd that I would have to do that, but I think you guys know exactly how to paint these things. So we're just gonna, just going to coat this thing with black paint that's all you're doing get the whole thing nice and painted front back sides everything you don't have to do the bottom if you don't want to because it's sitting on the bottom that's up to you okay so while i'm waiting for the um for these shapes uh the, the cat shapes to dry the next part of this that we do is we we need to cut out the eyes and what you can do what i've done is I have this little template that I made. Um, it's a little eighth inch piece of masonite. I just drew what I thought looked like a cat's eye. Um, 
If anyone needs this as a template, let me know. I'll go ahead and get it up on my website and you guys can download it from there um, and use it and cut it out all you need. Or you can even, like, like what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut out three sets of the right and three sets of the left with my scroll saw. But let's pretend for a second, because we're doing this all uh, for those that don't have a lot of tools, you take something like this and just draw it out on a piece of paper or, or print out the template on a piece of paper. And then what we're going to do is draw those directly onto that black paint where you want it. It's going to be very light uh, with your pencil. You're not going to press down too hard. And then you'll just fill in the lines like you're like you were a kid and you're coloring in a coloring book and you're going to paint it white. It might take two coats, but you're going to go ahead and paint it white. So once these dry, I'll show you what this looks like with um, the eyes I have, and we'll have those put on there. We're getting to the end. We're almost done. All right, so hopefully you can see here, I have, uh, these are all painted. And as I stated too, I, I used this as a template, and I cut these out of some eighth inch, uh, just a piece of... Uh, eighth inch laminated uh, plywood kind of and so that's how I'm going to do my eyes uh, they're going to just get glued on up here but what I mentioned is that if you don't have a scroll saw you take a template that you've got and again I'm using this piece of wood but if let's just say that you uh, take this and you print it and I'll do this let's let me let me go ahead and get this done for you so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about so I just have this hunk of uh, laser printer paper and I'm going to pretend as though I printed this out let's um, again I'm going to assume you don't have the ability to cut out one of these templates but you do have the ability to print out a copy of this eye on a piece of paper so what i would do then at that point is i would take a pair of scissors and just carefully cut or you can use an exacto whatever whatever you find more comfortable for you and we're going to cut out this eye from this piece of paper Keep in mind when you're cutting this stuff, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you're the one making the eye. You make it how you want it to be. So we take this eye and we place it where we think we would like it to be on here. And then we would take our pencil and just draw around it. Now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to keep mine just inside the paper because I'm going to be gluing my eyes on here and I don't want the pencil marks to show uh, they probably will and I'll probably have to just paint over them or something but that's all right so we'll take this and we would draw this on here with our piece of paper and now we have an eye um, you're going to just act like you're a kid with a coloring book and you're going to take your white paint and you'll paint right inside of here now as I stated I'm not doing that I'm going to be gluing these eyes right into place like so and that that's going to be my cat eyes right there now remember if you're doing this and you're going to use this don't just move it like this this eye is meant to be flipped so that you have it in the opposite way it, it would probably look okay but i think it would look best if you flipped it so one side this way, one side this way, and you'll have the perfect eyes. Okay, so I've got my eyes glued on. Um, and again, you can easily just go in and get yours and get them painted into place. Uh, and they'll, they'll be just as good. I just like doing this because I have a shaky hand. I'm not real good at the, the fine painting like that. Um, so this is how I prefer to do it. Like I said, you can uh, just use this piece of paper and you're good to go. Okay, so one of the things that I like to do with these, I'm going to pull some of these out of the way. I'm going to just have one up, up here so you can see 
how I'm going to do on one. I'll, I'll take a, uh, a piece of sandpaper. This is 150 grit. I'm going to try this, see how it goes. I might need to go to 80. Uh, but what I want to do is I want this to look rustic. You can certainly end here. This is a great look. Uh, and then you would just put your polyurethane coat over top of it or polyacrylic or whatever it is. You can spray it, whatever you're comfortable doing, um, and you're good to go. I like to go in and rough up my edges just a little so that these things look a little bit more rustic. I want them to be, I want them to look used. I want them to look well-worn. So I'll, I'll take this and just randomly hit some spots on here to give this, this, this old look. Like these things have been around for a while. I don't typically do the eyes just for the simple reason that sometimes it pulls off too much and it doesn't look right. But again, this is all we need to do. Just rough these edges up. And you can see I'm just randomly doing this. I'm not, there's no rhyme or reason. And then you have this really cool rustic look to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and we'll be right back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, these eyes are still wet, by the way, um, as far as, I don't mean the paint, I mean the glue, but that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and get this polyacrylic on these so it can start drying, and then we can go ahead and do our final, uh, our final piece to this. There's only one more thing left to do, and that is to put their whiskers on, and I'll show you how we do that. It's pretty easy, pretty, pretty fun. Um, got a little bit too much on here, but that's all right. We'll use it all. Now, one thing you'll notice that's happening here is my eyes, the black paint, because I was impatient, I did not sand, I did not wipe off after I sanded. And so there's a little bit of, uh, the, the dust from the black paint on here. And so what's happening is it's moving over to the eyes. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just take this and gently wipe that clean. And it's okay if they look a little bit dirty, as it were, especially if you do this rustic look. Now, if you're not going for the rustic look, just be a little more cautious with how you do this, uh, how you put this stuff together, how you get it on here. And just make sure you wipe off all your, your sanding dust so that you don't have this same issue that I'm having currently. And again, I'm, I'm fine with it. I knew it was going to happen, but I like to have a little bit of that dusty, dirty look to the eyes because, again, I've got this, the roughness uh, here where it's got this worn look to it. So I'll go ahead and I'll get that all on here. Um, and then I'll go ahead and I'll take and I'll just gently wipe. All right, there we go. I'll go ahead and get these finished and we'll be right back. All right, so what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to just take this, uh, this twine, um, just your normal thing of twine here. I got this, I think, at one of the big box uh, hardware stores. Not sure which one. And then I've gone and I've taken just like so and kind of done a, a rough measurement. So I came around and I want this to be... I want this to kind of be like out to here. I want to have enough room. So I'm just kind of bringing it around like this. And you'll see why in a second. Um, and then what I did is I just doubled it over and just made, I, I got it so I have four lengths that are the same, same length, if that makes sense. So what I've done is now I have these four like so, and they make this kind of a, 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 mall, a big rope as it were. I'm going to take this and maybe it'd be a good idea to kind of twist it a little bit so that it stays together. Bring it around. And then you want these to be even on both sides or as close to even as you can get. And then I'm going to take and tie a knot right in the center, just like so, just underneath the eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more knot so that it stays in place. 
like so. And now, there it is, it's in place. Uh, what I'll do too is I, I like to take these under, they're the whiskers, so they're both coming out on the same side. Get those out here. So now, we have this. All right, what I'll do now is I will take these, find the length I like, and cut them off. Same here, same distance out. And now we have whiskers, just like so. We have a cat. We have this going around and we have whiskers. Now, if you don't want it to go all the way around, you don't have to. Um, I just like the look of it. It just uh, has a, still has that cool look to it. Um, and and then we have our whiskers sticking out here. Now, the next thing I'll do, just to be safe and careful, is I'll put a little dab of glue here so that it kind of stays in place. And then I'll put some glue here. And make sure you're using the white glue so that it doesn't uh, show up once it dries. And there you have it. Now I'll show you him in a second once that glue dries. This is the quick and thick from Tight Bond. Um, it does a nice job of uh, of drying clear and drying as it says quick. So I'll go ahead and I'll get the other two done and I'll show you the finished products. All right, I have it all done. Uh, glue is on and it's all drying. So once this is completely dry, I'll come back and show you the finished product. And I think you'll like it. I think you'll all agree that this is a pretty simple project. This is something that a lot of people see um, on different uh, uh, websites for sale. And like I said at the beginning, if you're, uh, if you're going to a craft show of any kind, uh, these things sell like hotcakes. People love these things. And don't be surprised. I, I sell them as a set of all three. I have had people say, hey, I only want one, and I'll break up a set uh, just to make a sale, as I'm sure any of you would also do as well, um, because they're so easy to make. I, I usually batch these out like in sets of 10, so I'll have 30 of these things ready to go. So very good. So I'll see you here shortly once this is all dry. Well, we've got them dried up, ready to go. That's what they look like, all three of them. All done. Pretty simple project, pretty easy to do. Uh, so I'm hoping you guys will go out and give this thing a shot. Uh, like I said, I will go ahead and get these eyes, um, the template for that up on my website, and I'll, I'll point you to where that is. And uh, again, I'm not a professional as far as making these templates. It's just going to be a hand-drawn thing. So don't expect uh, a high-quality vector file that you can get elsewhere. It's just going to be a JPEG. Uh, you download it. You just resize it, whatever your program is. I'll make it to these size so that they do fit on this 2x4, just as you see it here. I do want to thank you all for watching, for subscribing, for sharing, for commenting. All of that stuff helps. And on top of that, I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to put a... Um, uh, there'll be a little notice on, on this one in the description. I'm going to have a giveaway for this. Uh, it's going to last uh, two weeks. Uh, after I post this, for the two weeks after it's been posted, if you give me a thumbs up and put a comment in the comment section under this, under this video, I will go ahead and put your name in for a drawing, and you can win all three of these guys. Um, I'll just, I will ship them to you only within the United States. I do apologize for... Uh, my international friends, uh, but uh, this will be only for in the U.S. I will ship them to you at no charge. You'll get all three of them. Again, all I need is a uh, a like, I'm sorry, yes, a like, thumbs up, and a comment, and then I'll go through these, and I will pick somebody, and we'll get a lucky winner. So, again, thank you all for watching. Thanks for subscribing, for liking, commenting, and don't forget Go out and carve. I know this isn't a carving, but still, go out and carve.